the private 5G equation has a lot of variables, right? And no wonder why we're still kind of debating how to solve it. Uh, my point of view, it goes beyond a discussion about pure uh, radio technology. I mean, private 5G solutions are readily available and so on. But it's really about the business proposition, the benefits that we're trying to position towards the end users of these applications, which are enterprises. So you really have to build a package around uh, the private 5G uh, solution that encompasses not only the basic uh, technology, but also the outcome, right? So it is really important that uh, whatever vendor that is proposing itself to be a strong player in private 5G, that, th that this vendor takes a holistic approach to the problem and when engaging with customers, discuss outcomes. But how can we do that? By having a, an offering that is not limited just to the connectivity layer of, of a private 5G solution, but also having uh, all of the components that will go around the private, the private 5G solution to actually deliver the outcome that the enterprise is looking for. So, for example, if you're talking uh, to, a, to a factory, you're not going to go there and say, hey, do you want to build private wireless? You're going to go there and have a discussion about how you can help them optimize the performance of their factory floor. And that, by the way, that passes through deploying applications, deploying edge infrastructure to run these applications and having the, the private 5G solution to build the connectivity with the capabilities that are required to make this whole thing work. So, Basically, once you put all these variables together, the network, the, the, the compute infrastructure, and the applications, and more importantly, you build a strong value proposition for that, that's when you start solving this equation. That's when you start having uh, fruitful engagements with, with enterprises, with end customers. We've been working uh, with our own products and partner solutions as well to bring several different flavors of private 5G solutions to the market that basically cater to specific requirements. So we have some that uh, provide not only the connectivity for the private 5G, but also a way to connect to the public network with the same infrastructure. Some others that are focused on private 5G only, uh, but with some specific characteristics that are better for certain types of applications. And yeah, our approach is really to build the solution from end to end. So with the capabilities that we have at Dell, we're able not only to deliver the private 5G solution, but actually help this enterprise navigate all of the transformational process it's going to have to navigate to deploy the solution and make the most out of it. So passing through, as I said, the basic connectivity layer with private 5G, with the infrastructure that is going to be required to run the applications that are going to be leveraging this connectivity and the applications themselves and putting this all together into a strong value proposition to our customers with uh, also ways of properly managing uh, the infrastructure and at the end of the day making sure that everything works well. At Dell we have announced already uh, last year that we're working with, uh, and we're trying to create an open ecosystem for telecom solutions. Uh, we have our open telecom ecosystem lab that is deployed now in two different locations, one in the US and one in Europe. And we're actively working with partners to build solutions together and validate these solutions in areas like, for example, uh, private 5G. With private 5G, we announced solutions with partners like Airspan, with Expedo, with Druid, and others as well, uh, that we're gonna continue to announce and continue to build on this portfolio to offer more options to our customers.